Today, I'm showing you how to make the best mashed sweet potatoes that you've ever tasted. And there's one secret ingredient. So let's jump right into it. So I'm starting off with four sweet potatoes that I've already washed really well. And my recipe actually calls for three medium to large size sweet potatoes, but I'm using four in this video because they were on the smaller side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel these really good. And let me know down in the comments, do you use a vegetable peeler to peel your potatoes or do you still use a knife? I actually had a discussion, this exact same discussion on my Instagram page and the responses were hilarious. So let me know down in the comments what you use, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut these in half and then I'm gonna cut them in half again. And then we're gonna chop these into two inch chunks. So we're keeping them fairly large because we're just going to steam these or pressure cook these in the Instant Pot. Now, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can certainly boil these on top of the stove with some water. I'm just showing you the Instant Pot method today because I absolutely love my Instant Pot. <laughs> if you didn't already know from my channel, I have a ton of Instant Pot recipes. So grab your Instant Pot and then grab a large steamer basket. I got this one from Amazon. Absolutely love it because all of my potatoes fit perfectly in the inside and it keeps the sweet potatoes from just sitting in water. So got my steamer basket, adding my water to the bottom of the Instant Pot and then just dumping my sweet potatoes inside. I'll link this steamer basket down below in the description box. Go ahead and place your top on and then we're gonna pressure cook these on high pressure for 10 minutes. Once those 10 minutes are up, make sure you do a quick release. Do not let those sweet potatoes continue cooking. So moving on to our butter, this is gonna be our secret ingredient, you guys. We're going to brown this butter. So if you've never browned butter before, get ready to be amazed because the flavor is amazing. So. What you wanna do is grab a small saucepan, place your butter on the inside on medium low heat. You're gonna slowly cook this butter. So it's gonna to start to foam up. And after about seven or eight minutes, it's going to start to change color. So it does take a little while, be patient. Do not walk away. I like to stir mine every few minutes. And then after about eight minutes, you guys, that butter will start to change colors. It'll start to get dark and brown and you'll start to smell it. So it has like a caramel nutty smell to it. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So once your butter has browned, go ahead and turn your heat off so it doesn't continue cooking because you don't want it to burn. You just want it to get brown. And then it's time to add the rest of your ingredients. So we have some pure 100% maple syrup, not pancake syrup. You want the real deal pure maple syrup. As soon as you add that in, you'll see it start to bubble up because that butter is still hot and your stove is still hot. So go ahead and stir that maple syrup in really well with the brown butter. Again, the smell, amazing, you guys. Next, we're just going to add in everything else. I have some half and half, and I like using half and half versus heavy cream. I've tried both. The heavy cream works really well, but it is a lot more rich. So I like the half and half because I think it's a perfect balance. Then you're gonna add in your spices. I just got cinnamon and nutmeg here. And as always, I list the full recipe and measurements down in the description box below so you can check that out. Then we're gonna add some vanilla. You're gonna see a quick blooper because I completely missed my spoon. <laughs> But anyway, we added that vanilla, so we had some extra vanilla in there, but I stirred that in and I just kept it moving, okay? And then once all of that is stirred together, the smell, amazing. I cannot emphasize the smell of this. <laughs> it smells so good. So you're just gonna go ahead and add that to the sweet potatoes. So again, I did a quick release, drained that water out, added my sweet potatoes to a large bowl. You can keep them in the Instant Pot if you want. I just did this so you can see how it looks. And then we're just gonna pour that brown butter mixture all over the top. You guys, it already looks so good. And then you're just gonna mash it up. So you can actually use a hand mixer or a potato masher. I'm using a potato masher today because I like it. It's easier than pulling out that hand mixer and fooling with those cores and trying to find the mixing tools that go on top of it. So I just grab my potato masher. Plus I like mine to be a little bit more on the thick side, the chunky side versus super smooth puree like baby food. But whichever preference you like, hey, you do you, okay? But I'll link this potato masher down below as well. 
And then you guys, that's it. The flavor that you're gonna get from that brown butter maple syrup mixture is the best, the best. And I love me some sweet potatoes. I've been eating sweet potatoes all my life. But this combination is my favorite. So add your sweet potatoes to a serving bowl and you are ready to enjoy. I just added a little butter on top and some cinnamon for presentation. But you guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Definitely try it out. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a big like down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss when I post another video. Till next time, see you later.